Hi, it's Rosie at Rosebud Name Co. How's everyone? I hope you're good. Actually, I haven't done a tutorial in quite some time, so I thought I would do something. And uh, recently, I've been making these flowers. Uh, they're just fabric flowers, and I um, thought they were just uh, cute enough to maybe um, show how I did them. Other people are doing them too. I've seen other crafters do them, so you know it's nothing original, but uh, they are rather cute and. They um, each have um, like a, a few pieces of um, material that becomes the petals in the flower. And then I put a little, you know, button on top or, or even if you want to put um, some bling or, or something else, you can as well. So uh, once I have uh, the petals on, then um, I might put on a, a button or a little diamond on it or or a bead or whatever you would like to put on and um, they just look great in a journal okay so here I have uh, something let me see um, okay let's try this page so once you put it on you know either on the top or wherever you would like to put it it just looks um, really really cute and I love it so even right on the top in the middle however you would like on a pocket anywhere it looks really good so let me show you what you will need to um, get these done first of all I start with scraps uh, fabric whatever I might have left over and um, then I cut that up into uh, little petals so it looks like that and then um, the next step is to sew the petals a few of them together however you wish whatever colors and uh, another one here and then after that I complete them uh, with either a little um, diamond stud or a button or whatever you would like to put on so basically you don't need too much uh, for this you would just need um, you know some thread and a needle to sew them up and um, your scissors of course and um, buttons and if you would like some of uh, these studs as well so let me show you where we will start so it, it's quite simple really we're just um, I'm just going to put these away and uh, start from scratch on these I'll just put these over here for now okay so you want to start off with uh, a piece of fabric where you might have a little square so I could probably cut this right in the middle and then I might even put it like this and cut it right in the middle here and over here so I might you know this way I'll get a few done at the same time and then in the middle here okay so i have these this i have uh left over i love using this um golden one i did sew something it was too big so i cut off the edge and i'm gonna try and be able to use this let me see so again you're looking for a little square and like this okay so you have a bunch of these and then whatever else you would like really it doesn't matter uh, what you're using just as long as you get these initial little squares um, to use okay so I like anything to do with the flowers of course most people do and um, they look really sweet in anything that you're creating and uh, let's get some pink over here let's see this one is <laughs> folded every which way but let's see if we can get some little squares out of this of course it has squares on it already okay and if you don't get exact squares I mean it's not a huge deal but um, try to it'll just be easier and um, let's do a little bit of this 
Now this one is quite long. And I know it's not, uh, maybe it's not interesting watching me cut up uh, little pieces of this, but this is basically what you're doing. Now, even with some kind of lace or something, you can do the same thing. Ribbon. So we have some of that and a little bit smaller piece. I like putting any like ribbon or lace into it. It just gives a little more. So anyways, let's try with these. And then we can continue later on with those. Okay, so um, we just folded these ones up. And we'll just continue cutting as much um, as you would like. And into whatever sizes that you feel you would like to have. So here's a little bit smaller ones. And uh, let's see if we can get a couple of these. Sometimes uh, if it's thinner material, it might be a little bit flimsy, but you might still be able to get around it. And if it's not in a perfect shape, don't worry about it. Um, so just going to go this way. Let me see if we got something. Well, it's a little bit on the long side, so I'm not sure if we can fold it back up and see if we can just cut up a little bit more on this side a little bit more like this so you can always fix it or you know what it doesn't have to be perfect at all so now these ones uh, i'm going to cut one by one because they're just a little bit thicker and a little bit harder to handle so i'm just going right around the edges and then let me see if we got anything. Oh, we got something. That's good. And then okay, so we got one here. And let's do one more on that one. A little bit bigger. So you holding the corner and then cutting around the best that you can okay so we have a few things here that uh, we can now deal with and uh, let's um oh i forgot this one here the nice pink one let's yes let's do a couple of these just because i really like it of course it has some sparkly in it and i'm good with that so i'm gonna fold it and Cut it up to the center. Okay, so this one didn't cut it. Let me just shape it a little bit more. Okay, so we have a couple of these. All right, so now you can uh, put them together however you think it might go best. Let's see if we can do. I usually do uh, three petals, but you can do more. I mean, doesn't say anywhere that it must be and um, that it must be you know three or two or whatever you wish to do and let's put this one here center and oh we forgot the blue so let's see what we can do with the blue here And um, looks like these will end up with only two, but that's okay too. So now um, you're going to need your needle and thread. I did get some thread off the spool here uh, while somebody walked in on me uh, the second time while I'm filming. And let me see if we can get this through here. And I usually do use like a longer uh, piece of thread so that... You know, I'm not changing it um, every two seconds. Let me see if I can get a little. And going on the bottom, I can't. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm trying to get a thing on the bottom going here. 
uh, so that you know when you when you are sewing it up it doesn't come right out because it might so let's go with this one let me see and a little button here uh, try to put it in the center but you know however far you can put it in let me see um, That's the thing with having it long. It, sometimes it does like to catch on the other side, but we will try and manage. And sometimes I um, sew up uh, the pieces, as you can see over here. I've done some, and I don't. I didn't sew the button on at the same time because uh, I don't know yet what I'm doing with it. Whether I want a button or I want something else on it, beads or something else. So. I didn't uh, sew it up right away, but just for the time's sake, I will do it right away here. And I only do it twice. It's not necessary for, you know, that many times for that to go through. And then, of course, when you come to the other side, you want to uh, make a knot on here as well so that the thread doesn't come out. And this is my knot. Okay, and then I will just uh, snip this off, and we have one flower there finished. Let's do another one. Okay, so another one, let's see, um, let's go with this one, and let's see what kind of button we might uh, put on. I know it really doesn't matter if you want to go with something lighter. You know, you can always uh, figure it out. Let's go with this uh, smaller one here. But it really basically doesn't matter. Whatever um, buttons you might have around the house or, you know, in your... Oops, I went into the same buttonhole. So let's go over here if we can find it. Uh, let me see. Of course, that is the hardest part, trying to get into the right buttonhole so okay so here's your second one and let's do that little knot on the back so it, it doesn't really take a lot of time and or effort it's just you know, getting to it and finding all your uh, supplies and so on. So, um, let's go with this one. This one I'm just going to sew it. And then I'm going to glue one of the um, shiny beads on there. So, I'm just really stitching wherever. It doesn't matter. As long as it's together i might put two or three on this one let me see maybe one more just to make sure that it stays put and do the knot for this one i'm trying to do um uh, some kits i did put these into a couple of kits that i will put into my shop um this afternoon and so on this one of course if you want a little bead of the shiny and you can put a, a bit of glue on that too to make sure that it stays a little bit better but uh, here you go so that's uh, this one and let's do a couple more let's see if I have some beads also that I can uh, show you so I did find uh, some beads and I'm just gonna try and see if this will go on so let me Go into this first and then put the bead on. Let's see how that will work. Of course, if you don't get, you know, tangled up, but we're doing okay, I think. 
and maybe once more just to make sure the bead stays now you can use whatever size bead you would like but i just want something small here and not not to overpower the flower because this is a small one with only two petals and um but you can use whatever you have handy <laughs> sorry it's going all over the place okay stop jumping all righty there we go oops sorry okay so there's this one with a little bead and um, let's do one more with a bead first we need that knot on here And let me see, we're going to go in from the bottom. And um, let's see if uh, we can get more beads on this one, maybe more than one. Oh, this one doesn't want to go over the needle. So let me try with a little bit larger bead, but you don't want anything too big because, you know, it's going to sit on a page in a journal and um, we don't want it to be too large either. But let's say if you do have a larger one, you could um, set it uh, more towards the top. But I'm not going to do humongous ones. Anyways, I do see the thread a little bit here. Oh, sorry. I do see the thread a little bit here, but um, not too much. Not too much, so we're okay. Now let's finish up this one. okay and there's another one and we'll do one more um uh, with a button so let me see uh, the shiny buttons usually have this thicker um hole and they might just sit like that and again it might be just too thick for your journal so let's um see some other button well that looks okay to me So let's get the thread through this one. So it's um, this is actually very relaxing. It's not very hard and it's not, you know, a lot of uh, work or a lot of steps to it. So it's a bit more relaxing. Sometimes crafting, as much as we love it, it can be also very stressful. And sometimes there's um, a lot of uh, different steps to it and so on. And... We get anxious about it you know how it's going to turn out so this one is actually uh, a rather more calming um, little tidbit to do so we have this one let me show you them and one with a bead and a couple more here with buttons and then one over here and uh, with a bead and one with the a stud on it and I call it a stud and these are from before that I made so these are the little uh, fabric flowers uh, with buttons or clusters or whatever you want to call them uh, that I wanted to show you how to make quickly it's not very difficult so I hope you give it a try at some point and um, have a good day doing it I appreciate you coming back and checking on my channel. Thank you again. It's Rosie at Rose Banenko. Take care. Bye-bye.